People buy from friends. Sage, who is the web marketing tenure guy at webmarketingwatch.com? Sage, who is at webmarketingwatch.com? My father in law, 35 years on the road as a salesman. He says, Sage, look, when it comes right down to it, people buy from people they know. I mean, it's sales 101, right? I mean, to that guy, you know, 35 years on the road, but to me, I'm like, oh, wow, man, that's really heavy, dude. That's awesome. I have to really ponder that. Well, check out this study by Chadwick Martin Bailey. They did a study that was pretty interesting, and it said consumers engaged via social media are more likely to buy and recommend. It says new consumer research shows that over 50% of Facebook fans and Twitter followers say they're more likely to buy and recommend than before they were engaged. The study of over 1,500 consumers by market research firm Chadwick Bailey and Martin and I monitored research technology found that 60% of Facebook fans and 79% of Twitter followers are more likely to recommend those brands since becoming a fan or follower. And an impressive 51% of Facebook fans and 67% of Twitter followers are more likely to buy the brands they follow or are a fan of. Now, First question is, why do people become fans of companies? Number one reason, they want discounts. That's why. But still, they want to be engaged. They want to know. You know they, they, were, they were looking to get something out of that relationship. And here, we're seeing a huge percentage of people that are engaged in the brands that they, you know, that hang out with in, in these social media spaces are going to buy more from them. But check it out. This is, uh, this is the uh, pretty graphic here. Are you more likely to buy since becoming a fan or follower? 67% on Twitter say yes, and 51% say on Facebook yes. Are you more likely to recommend since becoming a fan or follower? Yes, look at all these people. They'll recommend it, they'll buy it, everything. People buy from who they know. Check this out. Says the study also uncovered uh, perceptions among consumers that those brands not engaging in social media are out of touch. When asked the question, what does it say about a brand if they're not involved in sites like Facebook or Twitter? They said the following, it's expected. It's expected that a company have some digital face, whether it's on Facebook or Twitter, I don't know, but they need a strong electronic presence or you doubt their relevance in today's marketplace. That's females 50 to 54. Either they are not interested in the demographic that frequents Facebook and Twitter, or they're unaware of the opportunity to get more exposure from the interactive method males, 35 to 39. It shows they're not really with it or in tune with the new ways to communicate with customers, females, 18 to 24. And finally, if, you're not, if they're not on Facebook or Twitter, then they're not in touch with the electronic people. So say may it, females, 55 to 59, okay? We're not talking about 19 year olds here. These people are middle aged. And they're saying if you're not engaged in social media, you're not in touch. You don't get it. All right? Do you understand what that is all about? That, that people, you know, they want to hang out with who's cool and who's fresh and hot and hip. And if you're not on the Facebook or the Twitter or the YouTube, Man, you're old school, baby. You're back in the yellow book ages. Ah, so think about this. Are you involved in social media? If not, you might very well be missing out and casting a possibly negative perception about your brand to your customers. Very interesting report. Nicely done. I'll link to it in the Facebook or in the YouTube. And all that. So, all right, everybody, I'm Sage Lewis, the web marketing video guy, and happy marketing! Sage Lewis, the web marketing video guy at webmarketingwatch.com. Sage Lewis at webmarketingwatch.com.